वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स मी प्रमोद मिश्रा कम टू आई हैव कम इन द इंटरनेट क्लासेस बाय ऑर्गेनाइज बाय सिद्धार्थ शिशु सदन एंड दिस वर्चुअल क्लास इज नॉट ओनली लास्ट बट दिस विल कंटिन्यू फॉर एवर 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 एंड एवर until or unless this problem will not be stopped so yesterday in the previous episode we have studied many about the factorization aspects and among them some questions are still remaining to solve and after getting the solution of these questions i hope you will easily solve all the questions whatever you will uh, you will face in your ex exercise book in in your textbook it is it so let us do some questions over here question is 1 minus a square 1 minus b square and plus 4a how can we do this especially In the factorization, we are seeing such type of questions: a x square plus 5x plus 6. Simple trinomial, yeah, x square minus 4. Simple binomial, it is it. But such type of questions, in the question, two binomials are in multiplication form, and there is addition form. Then, how can we solve such type of questions as factorization? So, first of all, look here. Just we have to multiply both the binomials. Look here, one into one minus b square minus a square into one minus b square plus four a. Multiply here, one into one one minus b square minus a square plus a square b square plus four a. Now, how many terms are there after getting the multiplication? One, two, three, four, and five. Then the terms are four. Four to do the factorize of our area terms must be even. Must be even of our area. So here is five terms. Then we have to convert it into six terms, not four terms. Which terms should be raised? No one. So we have to convert it into. Six terms. It means we have to write whole a b in two equal parts. It means one minus b square minus a square plus a square b square plus two a b plus two a b. First of all, take three positive terms. One a square b square and two a b. Take three positive terms. A square b square plus two a b. Plus one, we can write also one plus two a b plus a square b square. Like this, we can write also. Again, remaining, like remaining minus a square plus two a b minus b square. Now these three terms and these three terms, they are the group. We have studied factorization by group, so it is a group. Look okay? here, it is a b whole square. Plus one whole square, right? Plus formula two, a means a b into b one. A s a b whole square means a square b square. Two a b means two a b plus b square means one. It means it is a perfect square. So minus common a square minus two a b plus b square. See what? Look here. When we take minus common from all these three terms, minus a square turns into positive term, plus two a b turns into minus two a b, and plus b square turns into plus b square. It is a b plus one whole square minus a minus b whole square. Is it? Look here. Now it is in the form of a square minus b square. So look here. A B plus one plus A minus B. A B plus one minus A minus minus plus B. Like this we have to do. 
Similar next question is question is a square minus b square c square minus d square minus 4 a b c d how can we do this look here again in the same way we have to multiply these two terms these two binomials a square into c square minus d square minus b square into c square minus d square minus 4 a b c d look here a square c square minus a square b square minus b square c square minus minus plus b square d square minus 4 a b c d look here now 1 2 3 4 5 this polynomial has 5 terms there must be 6 terms to get the factorization so we have to convert 4 a b c d in 2 equal parts a square c square minus a square d square minus b square c square plus b square d square minus 2 a b c d minus 2 a b c d look here take two positive terms over here a square c square b square d square and one from here 2 a b c d because the, these two are the negative terms and we have taken in the upper question all three are positive because 2ab and 2ab both are positive and here 2abcd 2abcd both are negative so we have to take two positive terms and one is 2abcd it means a square c square minus 2abcd plus b square b square and now what are the rest this is the rest parts minus a square b square minus 2abcd minus b square c square like this next look at ac whole square and here is bd whole square here is plus and what is the formula minus 2 a means ac b means bd it means a square minus 2ab plus b square it means is ac whole square means a square c square 2 a b c d and b square d square it means it is a perfect square first of all take minus common from these three terms a square b square plus 2 a b c d plus b square c square is it here is it is in the form of a minus b whole square so ac minus bd whole square minus it is look here first of all write in the form form of a, a square plus 2ab plus b square a square plus 2 a means ad b means bc a plus bc whole square look here a square plus 2ab plus b square it means ad whole square means a square a square 2a b c d and b square c square it means it is also a perfect square so a c minus b d whole square minus a d plus b c whole square okay these two are the binomials and it is in the form of a square minus b square so first of all write in put it put it in the middle bracket AC minus BD plus A plus B. It means AD plus BC. A plus B. And next is AC minus BD minus AD plus BC. It means A plus B, A minus B. And AC minus BD plus AD plus BC. Next is AC minus BD minus AD plus BC. Okay, sorry, minus AD minus minus plus minus BC. It is. Next is X4. Question is X4 minus 8X square plus 12. 
minus 9b square a minus 12b two steps in the question px square is in quadratic form it means by quadratic form its power is 4 here is 9b square it means quadratic form but here is 8x square and here is 20 this question is violence so first of all we have to arrange the like variables like variables together x4 minus 8x square plus 12 as it is minus 9b square minus 12b look here first of all we have to complete the square of these two terms we have to make complete square form it means x square whole square minus 2 a means x square b b we have to put ourselves to get 8 over n because there is this is 2 is the form of formula it means a square minus 2ab plus b square 2 is this but we have to arrange it we have to bring 8x square over there java namile yaha 8 le unu parda rahe cha a square minus 2a bar b aapne aapne hao unu parda taba 8 unu cha ta b yaha kasa ni hao ne ta 2 parda 8 ta a square minus 2ab bar b b square kani unu parda cha ho ta b square bane ko 4 square अब यहाँ हमरो बैलेंस भायो यहाँ हमरो बैलेंस भायो तो अब यो फोर स्क्वायर बनना के लिए क्या तीन आंसर था सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन बार बची यहाँ का भी था ट्वेल्थ तो यो एक्सीड कर रहे हो एक्सीड कर रहा है कि यार बैलेंस पर निकल रहा है सिक्सटीन माइनस फोर इज कर दो ट्वेल्थ माइनस नाइन बी � x square minus 4 whole square minus take minus common from these three terms minus 9b square plus 12b plus 4 we have arranged over here so x square minus 4 whole square minus it is check it whether it is perfect square or not 3b whole square plus 2 whole square a plus 2 into a means 3b into b means 2 2 3 is 6 to the 12 it means it is a perfect square yes x square minus 4 whole square minus it is 3b plus 2 whole square now it is in the form of a square minus b square and they are the binomial terms don't do direct because doing direct it, it may mis, it, it may cause mistakes. So look here. A A means x square minus 4 plus B means 3B plus 2. A plus B and again A x square minus 4 minus 3B plus 2. Is it? So look here x square minus 4 plus 3b plus 2 x square minus 4 minus 3b minus 2 this is such type of question is here again to clear the concept a square minus 10a plus 24 plus 6b minus 9b square how can we do this look here this question and this question both are similar just we are doing to get the more clear concept over here look here first of all we have to put the same variable part together same variable part together it means a square minus 10a plus 12, 24 as it is plus 6b minus 9b square look here a square now we have to convert it these two binomial in the perfect square form it means we have to convert it in the binomial and in the 
perfect square form. So look here, a square minus 2, a means a, b, we have to put ourselves to get 10 over here, so we have to put over here 5. It means a square minus 2ab plus b square, it means 5 square. And here, these two are balanced, these two are balanced, but 5 square means 25, and here is 24 only. So, we have to balance it using minus 1 over here plus 6b minus 9b square. Is it? Look here. It is in the form of a minus b whole square, a minus 5 whole square minus common. Take minus common from these three terms minus 1 minus 6b plus 9b square. Look here a minus 5 whole square minus it is 1 square a plus 3b square minus 2 into a means 1 b means 3b it means a 2ab 2 3 6b it means it is a perfect square a minus 5 whole square minus 1 minus 3b whole square it means it is in the form of a square minus b square don't write this just we have let over here a means a minus 5 plus b means 1 minus 3b next is a means a minus 5 minus 1 minus 3b look here a minus 5 plus 1 minus 3b and here is a minus 5 minus 1 plus 3 like this next is Two questions you have seen over here in the same process and now this is question for all of you the students question is a4 minus 7 a square plus 9 plus 2 a b minus p a square you have to do yourself this question you do yourself for the better practice. Now we are going to solve the next question. Suppose here is question is 4a square plus 9b square plus 16c square minus 12 ab minus 24 bc so 16 ac plus 16 ac how can we solve this especially we have discussed about the three uh, formula for trinomial the square of trinomial a plus b plus c square we have discussed this formula. Yes, we have obviously we have discussed. This question directly belongs to this formula. Or without using this formula, we can solve also, we can also factorize the polynomial. Without using the square of trinomial, we can factorize also. Look here. First of all, a square, b square, and 12 b these three terms have the, the strong relation among them. So put them together. 4a square minus 12ab plus 9b square. Right? Plus, it is, sorry, it is 16c square. Yes. Plus 16c square minus 24bc plus 16ac. Okay? It is in the form 2a whole square plus 3b whole square minus 2a means 2a, b means 3b. It means 2 to the fourth is a 12 a. It means it is a perfect square. Again, minus 24 bc plus 16 ac. Right? Plus C 
16 c square. Look here. It is in the form of 2a minus 3b whole square. Right? Next is we have to take Fc common from them, these two terms. Fc plus Fc common from these two terms. Plus Fc. Here is 8 to the 16, 2a minus 8, 3 to 24, 3b plus 16c square. Check whether these three terms are in perfect square or not. Look here. Suppose this is a and this is b. It means 2a minus 3b whole square a plus 4c whole square. Is it? Look here. Plus formula 2. A means 2a minus 3b. B means 4c. 4 to the 8c into 2ab. They make all this make 8c into 2a minus 3b. It means these three terms are in perfect square. So we have to write over here. A means 2a minus 3b, 2a minus 3b plus b means 4c whole square. And you can write 2a minus 3b plus 4c and 2a minus 3b plus 4c. Again, question for you. Question for you is 9a square plus 16b square plus 25c square plus 24ab minus 40bc minus 30ac. According to this way of calculation, you have to factorize this polynomial. So you do yourself. Here is the question. Next factorization is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. Look here. This is not only the factorization. This is also the formula. It is one of the best formula used in trigonometry also. So, first of all, let us do the factorization. Then after learning and practicing, how, how do we factorize it? And remember it. For forever. Okay. First of all, we have to write in the right x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz like this and we have to write the formula for x cube plus y cube. What is the formula? x plus y whole cube minus 3xy into x plus y. Is it? Plus z cube minus 3xyz. Is it? Next. Look here, x plus y whole cube and z cube. Also, these two are in cubic form. A cube plus b cube. It means x plus y whole cube plus z cube. And next is minus 3xy into x plus y minus 3xyz. Now, it is in the form of a cube plus b cube, here is x plus y plus z, it means what is the formula for a plus b, next formula, a cube plus b cube, next formula, what is the next formula, a plus b whole into a square minus a b plus b square, and next formula, a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b into a plus b, first in First step we have used this formula. Look here. Because third cubic term is also remaining over here. Without resolving third cubic terms, we can't factorize the polynomial. So in first step we have write this formula 
and in the second step, after getting the factorize of it, the cubic terms will be removed. So we have to write this formula over here. x plus y plus z whole into a square. Whole into a square means x plus y whole square. Minus a b. A b. A means x plus y and into b means z. A plus b square. It means z square. Minus in these two terms, what should be the common? 3xy. 3xy. Here is the remaining x plus y and plus z. How? Here is minus and here has come plus. How? How is it possible? Look here. If this is minus. Minus is equal to plus into minus. Oh. Java. यो माइनस इज इक्वल टू यति हुन्छ त यो दुईटा बाट हाम्रो पहिले के गयो त माइनस कमन आयो हैन हैन माइनस कमन आउँदा फेरि यहाँ पनि प्लस बच्यो अनि यहाँ माइनस कमन भइसकेपछि के बच्यो त प्लस नै बच्यो यो कुरा बुझ्नु पर्छ हामीले लुक हियर इन दिस टु टर्म्स इन दिस टु टर्म्स व्हाट इज द कमन x y z यस x y z and next is what is the remaining x plus y what you must write write in the formula x square plus 2xy plus y square it is in the form of a plus b whole square and minus x into z zx minus plus minus yz and minus what is the remaining over here 3xy is it look here x plus y plus z x square plus y square z square is remaining sorry here is x square plus 2x y plus y square minus x z minus y z and plus z square is left over there and this is minus 3x one right next is x plus y plus z and this is x square plus y square and plus z square 2xy minus 3xy this means minus xy minus yz minus zx and according to this rule you have to solve the question 8x cube plus 27y cube plus 64 z cube minus 72 xy z this is the question for you or you solve this question next and this is the last class of factorization. In the next class, we will start HCF and LCM because in the HCF and LCM there is the base base of factorization. So until or unless the studying of factorization, you can't understand the HCF and LCM. It means highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So factorize it, practice it very well at your home. Practice it very well at your home. Thank you.